welcome back. This is the Allegheny Northern in N scale, and today we're finally going to do it. We're going to talk about signals on the layout, and I know that uh, there's a there's a lot of options out there for some of the other scales, but in N scale, there's not a whole lot of options. You can see right here that I made my choice with where I'm getting my signals from, and it is from Showcase Miniatures. Now, if you have heard of Showcase Miniatures before, uh, chances are it was because you asked me about some of the models on my layout, uh, especially some of the vehicles, because that is pretty much what I've known Showcase Miniatures for. But if you go on their website, they do have signal options. And so uh, when I went on there, they had the LED kits, they had the uh, mast assembly and detail kits, and then they had the um, the, the head kits with uh, the shrouds and all that sort of stuff. So um, there are, if you believe it or not, there are 16 signals here, uh, and each signal is roughly going to cost you around $22, give or take, uh, and that is just uh, the un unassembled parts, which you've got to put together. And like I said, I'm starting out with 16. That is not nearly enough to do the entire layout. Uh, in fact, it's it's a fraction. So this is going to be a long process. Now, the other thing is, not only is this going to be a long process, but this is also um, not the brains that's going to run the signal. This is strictly the signals in the LEDs uh, and the details that you're going to see on the layout. This is not the control components or any of that uh, uh, sensors, anything like that. This is just the signals. So uh, if you're doing the math real quick, yeah, there's about $350 worth of stuff here and it's not even enough to really signal the, the layout. So if you're on a smaller layout, this is a lot easier. I've got a much larger layout. It's going to take some time to just collect all the parts. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to buy it in sections and this is the first 16 signals. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how, how I've put this together, and then we'll show you, of course, on the layout. Okay, folks, so uh, before we get too far into it, I wanted to show you what is essentially a complete signal, and that's this guy right here. And so uh, when I say it's complete, I need to touch up the paint. Uh, I knocked a good chunk of the paint off while I was working on this thing. Um, but the, uh, the painting step uh, is, uh, I'm not going to show you because it's, it's nothing special, but what you do is, uh, I, I assembled everything, uh, minus the, uh, the LED kit and I, uh, sprayed it with a tester's doll coat to give the tooth some bite. Then with my airbrush, I sprayed the silver and then with a brush, uh, I hand painted the, uh, the black hood, uh, and signal, uh, mount there. So, uh, I, I went off the uh, instructions a little bit because uh, they want you to drill a hole in this little tiny brass um, tube to get the wire in shorter and I, I just don't have the equipment for that so I actually ran mine up the side and honestly uh, you're not going to see it uh, so I, I'm not too worried about it here so you know this is let me show you here from the you know, a typical viewing, you know, you're going to view it like this. You're just, you're just not going to see that wire. It's, it's too fine. I'm going to paint it silver to match everything else uh, on the signal, and it's, it's going to be fine. But uh, I will tell you, getting the, uh, the two signal heads worth of wire fed through this little tube um, was a major, major pain in the ass. It did not go very smooth. Um, in fact, on the first one I did, it, it, it took me way too long to, to do it. Let's just say it was more than an hour um, to get it to actually feed all the way through the tube. And the problem is you've got these very fine wires um, and they they need to be pushed from the top. And so when you when you try to push them down through the top, if they get snagged or anything, or if there's a kink in the wire somehow, uh, it just won't go and you can't, you can't grab it from the bottom to pull it. Uh, the tube is so small, I tried to do a, a pull string of some sort uh, which is what you would typically do for pulling cable, but uh, it, it just it didn't work. So that was my only complaint about these signals was um, trying to get that wire through that tube. Everything else goes together uh, perfectly. Uh, and so I'm going to build one here for you and show you how it goes together. Like I said, I'm going to skip the painting step. You guys know how to do how to do painting at this point. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be, so this is going to uh, 
in the, in the town of Allegheny, this is going to guard the double crossover right before or right after the station, depending on which direction you're heading. And so I've got four of these things put together. And so when I went online, I, I just I needed to make an order, right? So I just sort of ordered uh, 16 signals. And I didn't think, oh, some of the signals might have um, more than one head on it. So I really didn't get 16 signals. I'm probably going to end up with about eight um, because they're double headed. So um, not that that's a problem. It, it just means I'm going to have extra parts. So when I order the next set, I'm going to have more signal heads ordered than I will posts. So, um, but it gave me a starting ground to kind of see how this is going to go together um, and determine that, you know, this is definitely the signal system that I want to go with. So uh, what I'm going to do uh, is sort of now map out the rest of my locations where I want signals or need signals, and then I'll, I'll have a count that I'll need to, to place the rest of the order for. So uh, anyway, okay, let's go ahead and get one assembled here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the, the platform that is where the signal ma maintainer uh, would access in order to maintain the signal. And it's soft metal. So it cuts real easy with a with an exacto blade, and so once we get that pulled out, I'll just drop that piece right out of here. Now there are um, little little nubs here on the end of the railing, and you don't want to cut those off because uh, you need them. And so it's just a matter of bending up the edges. And I try to get them as square as possible. It just aids in the next in the next step. Now on the next step, you cut out this little sort of awkward looking railing thing here. Okay, and this piece sits on top. So what I'm doing now is uh, I'm just using Gorilla Glue. This is the super glue gel. You need something that sets fast. So if you have some of their other versions, which take uh, you know, which take time to dry, you're not going to want to use that just because it, it, it's not going to hold itself together. So uh, I'm putting the glue off camera here on a little piece of plastic uh, because there is no way you can just direct apply this stuff. It's just the pieces are too small. So um, I'm going to take my tweezers, which you've seen a lot in recent videos because it's pretty much how everything in N-Scale gets assembled. And I'm going to take an old paintbrush and just apply a small amount of glue. It does not take a lot to hold these in place. So don't, don't feel like you got to, you know, cover the area. You just need to get enough to hold the, hold the piece in place. And the next step here, you're going to align. You're going to see that there's a U-shaped piece on. Maybe you'll see there's a U-shaped piece right where my tweezers are holding. And there's a U-shaped piece on the platform. And they need to be in the same direction because that is how the, um, that's how the platform attaches to the pole. And then it's just a matter of. Sliding that into place. Now, after I got that set, what I'll do is I'll pick this up and just make sure that this thing is tapped into alignment here because if it's not sitting straight, it'll look funky when it dries. And so it'll slide right onto those two little nubs and you're done. So I built a bunch of these platforms already, which... Um, we'll use for, for the future steps here. So um, the next step is you're going to take your brass pole and they give you, and this is really handy, in this set of instructions, they give you a two scale drawing. And it's perfect because what you do is you can line up your brass pole just like so. And it shows you exactly where your platform and your, and your lamp, uh, your light posts need to be um, attached. So this thing is, is a lifesaver, so do not throw out the instructions when you get them because what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our already fabricated little signal head, uh, 
platforms and we're going to get it attached. Now, once again, uh, I am just going to take a pre-built platform that's already dried. I'm going to add a little bit of the super glue here to make sure I've got something to And I'm going to lay this little guy down here, just like so, right at the level that I want him. And then I'm going to take my post and lay it right inside there. And if you're like me, you will probably glue yourself to your signals more than once. It's okay as long as you can get yourself back off. <laughs> and then I make sure that that is sitting in there flat. Okay. And so that is where our platform is going to be. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to take the base. This is going to be a single, um, this is going to be a single head signal. So it's not going to have the two platforms on it. And I'm going to slide the little plastic base, which will get painted a concrete color later. And I just want to, once again, resize this thing and slide this base up to around about where it's going to be. And once again, once I get that to where I want it, I'm going to just put a small amount of glue on the base and slide it right over to it. And make sure that that little brush hair doesn't get stuck in there. Okay, I squared everything up. Make sure it's all nice and plumb so it doesn't look funky on the layout. And there you go. So I've got my platform mounted at the correct height. And I've got my little basket on there as well. Now, the signal head itself is easy enough to install. So you need to decide which side your platform is gonna be on. Obviously it's not gonna be track side, it's going to be on the opposite side. So depending on which way your, uh, which side of the track your signal is on, will determine which, which way you sp spin the basket here, so to speak. Um, but the next step, we're gonna go ahead and put our glue right into that shape right there and then now that we've got the basket um, platform this piece just sits right there and then I want to position it so that it doesn't look funky against the platform okay and that is the basis of our signal now there is one other piece that you're going to need to put on and that piece is the brace for the bottom here and it's this little funky Y looking shape here and you do have to do a little bit of craftsmanship on this one just to get it to get it the right shape and it's not difficult just gonna take a pair of needle nose pliers and what you're going to do is you're going to take this and bend it so that you have a position against the pole right and then this goes to the underside of the platform so in order to get that there you need to bend this to match the angle that you bent your u-shaped piece at Careful not to deform the piece you already bent correctly, otherwise you'll have to rebend it. And so when you're done, I'm gonna grab the tweezers here so you can actually see this. You'll get a piece that looks a little so I can get that to focus on the camera here. Yeah, probably not because of what I'm trying to do with it here. Let's see. Yeah, 
You know, I think there just might be too much background noise here. So let me see if I can do it this way. If you get something that looks like that. Okay. And let's go ahead and zoom back out. Once again, we're going to, using our tweezers, we're going to apply a little bit of glue to the two parts that make contact. So that is your u-shaped piece here and your top and then this just simply slides against the pole and then you attach the underside to the bottom of the platform and boom there you are so putting them together is really that simple uh, there's nothing really exciting about about that part and you get a good looking signal ready to rock and roll So we'll go ahead and get this painted and then I will show you how to put the LED in Okay, so if you are uh, modern, uh, Modeling a modern road like I am then you probably want to have the uh, proper hood on your signal now this this one works. You can absolutely use this signal just as it is. It's got the the, uh, the lens shield there, stop the glare. Um, but in recent years, they've gone to what apparently is called the Vader hood, um, and the Vader hood looks like you know, it looks just like that. And so, uh, in order to make that work, what we've got to do is we've got to remove these prefabbed, pre-molded lens uh, guards here. And that's very easily done with a sharp knife. And we're just going to clean up those edges a little bit. Okay. And once we do that, uh, our next step is to cut out the parts and pieces that we need for the Vader hood, you're going to want to do all of this before we uh, paint. Obviously, you're not going to want to come back and, and do this again. So, uh, that little guy gets mounted on the front. And then we've got to fabricate this little piece. In the instructions, they do tell you that uh, this piece here and this piece can be ignored. You don't need those um, for this setup, so I don't know what they're for. There's probably another kit that, that requires them, but this one, it does not. Okay, and then we are going to... We'll once again, repeat our process with the brush and the super glue. And you don't have to, if you don't have an old brush to sacrifice, you can use a micro brush or a toothpick, or if your super glue is a little more um, f flowable, um, then you can probably get away with. Uh, you know, a toothpick or something like that. But for me, uh, I have a... I, I just replaced all of my old cheap brushes with old cheap, new cheap brushes, I guess. So I am not afraid to sacrifice a few brushes along the way. Um, okay, so then the next thing here is... And I'm trying to, trying to work around my camera, so I don't want to... Uh, if I smack you off the camera here at all. <laughs> I don't mean to. And it's certainly not personal. But um, the next step here is I do have to get this thing shaped. So I get the hood shaped around the signal. And so the easiest way I can think of to do that is probably to place it around the signal head. Now, I'll be honest with you. 
Uh, you should do this before you put it on the mast. I completely forgot about it. So I'm not lying. Uh, so I'm going to use another signal here to sort of bend this into place. And I just want to make sure that I get the right shape on it. That's what I want to 